hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can turn your raspberry pi into a very own home wi-fi router using a tool called rasp ap with this setup you can use your raspberry pi as a wi-fi access point also wi-fi repeater to extend your existing network range portable wi-fi router or vpn gateway and much more for this setup, I will use Raspberry Pi 4. You can use Raspberry 3 or 5, whatever you have. At first, you need to insert the microSD card to your computer. So after insert microSD card to your computer, you just need to open your browser and go to this website, which is raspberrypi.com. After that, after go to raspberrypi.com, simply click on software over here. Now you have to download Raspberry Pi Imager. So simply download for your Windows. If you are using Mac or Ubuntu, you can download from here. I will download for Windows. So I have already downloaded on my computer. So let me open it. So here it is, as you can see, Raspberry Pi Imager. After that, you need to click on the See All Download Options. Now scroll down. Here you will get a 32-bit version. And here you will get 64-bit version. Make sure that you have downloaded the 64-bit version and make sure the Debian version is bookworm uh, tw uh, 12 bookworm. Okay. After that, click on download. Once it will download on your computer, you just need to open Raspberry Pi Imager software. Click on choose device. Here, I just need to select Raspberry Pi 4. If you are using 3 or 5, you can select from here. I will select here Raspberry Pi 4. Choose OS. Simply scroll down. Click on use custom and you have to select that img file which i have downloaded from that website so here in my case here it is as you can see i'll click on open now click on choose storage and select your micro sd card now click on next here you just need to click on edit settings after that here you just need to set your host name in my case it is raspberry pi dot local in, uh, and username and password you can set from here I have set over here technology and password one two three. Currently, I will not configure any wireless LAN. I will directly use wired LAN connection from my router. So I'll uncheck this option. You can set a time zone from here. Now click on services and make sure that this option is selected, which is enable uh, SSH and use password authentication. On option, make sure that this option is selected. This three option and after that, click on save. Now click on yes and yes. After that, it will take some time to write your uh, micro SD card. So you have to wait for a few minutes. Once you have created a bootable micro SD card with your uh, with Raspberry Pi OS, you need to insert that micro SD card to your Raspberry Pi. Then connect the Ethernet LAN cable to your Raspberry Pi. Make sure your Raspberry Pi has onboard Wi-Fi and wireless LAN port. So I'll be using wired LAN connection to access the internet and built-in Wi-Fi to create a wireless access point. So finally power on your Raspberry Pi. So after turn on your Raspberry Pi, you just need to open CMD to connect your Raspberry Pi through SSH. Simply open CMD. And after open CMD, you just need to type the command is called SSH space your Raspberry Pi username which you have created and then add it then IP address. So if you don't know your Raspberry Pi IP address, then don't worry, just simply open your router login page, which is in my case 192.168.0.1. If you don't know your router login page, simply open CMD, type IP config, and the gateway is basically your uh, router IP address. So simply I will log into my router IP. After that, I will click on WAD client because I have connected through WAD. So I'll click on WAD client. And as you can see, here is my Raspberry Pi. The IP address is showing, which is 192.168.0.121. So now what I'll do is I will simply type that IP over here and press enter. Now type over here, yes. Now put the password. And as you can see, it is connected successfully. So first I have to update and upgrade my Raspberry Pi. For that, I have to type sudo apt update, then sudo apt upgrade minus y. So don't worry with that. 
I have already mentioned uh, this command to my website. So a link I will provide to my video description. Okay. After update done, simply type the command is called sudo apt install ip tables space minus y. And after that, press enter from your keyboard. Once it will done, go to my website, copy these two command one by one and paste it on your terminal. After done, copy the last command for install rasp ap. Simply type this curl command. After the type over here, here it's showing like installation directory under var ht, uh, www, www slash html. So I will type over here y and press enter. Now I want complete installation. So I will use y and press enter. So here is showing like enable HTTP only. So I'll press y and enter. Enable REST API control service. So I'll press y and enter. Or enable TCP and press Y enter. Then add blocking. I will press Y and enter. For open VPN, I will press Y enter. Now press Y, REST API and enter. For WireGuard, you just need to press Y enter. Enable VPN provider client. I will press Y enter. And here I will select add guard VPN. So I'll press four and enter. After done, it will show you the re rebooted as final step. Reboot now. So press Y in my case uh, and press enter. After that, it will start your Raspberry Pi. Now I'll try to reconnect my Raspberry Pi. After done, you just need to type the command to check host PD status. For that, simply type system ctl space status host pd and press enter. Now, as you can see, it is showing enable. I'll type another command which is system ctl status dns masq and press enter and it is running as you can see. So now simply I'll open my browser and simply I will type that my Raspberry Pi IP address which is 192.168.0.121 and as you can see here is a RAPS AP uh, login page. So username is admin and password is secret. Okay. So this is the default username and password. Click on login. And as you can see, I have successfully logged into my Raspberry Pi AP access point. So now I'll create one hotspot. Hot so for that, I'll click on this hotspot uh, option. And here I'll select the blue LAN, means wireless LAN. Here you can select any SID. So I'll select test access. Sorry, test access point. You can select channel, any channel from here. Wireless mode, you can select from here. Security, you can select any password over here and click on start hotspot. After done, check your Wi Fi setting. So as you can see, it is not working. So now what I have to do is I have to again, I have to check my host PD status. So as you can see, it is showing code exit. Uh, it is showing error, something error. So what I have to do is simply I have to type the command is called RF kill then list. So now I'll type sudo RF kill unblock Wi-Fi and press enter. Now I have to type the command is called sudo system 
ctl start host pd and sudo system start uh, now i'll check the status now it is running perfectly so as you can see hotspot is up showing up and let me change the password so as you can see hotspot up and running perfectly now i'll check to my wi-fi and as you can see test access is showing and on security here is my password it is change me you can change to any password so suppose if i if i want to change the password i have to stop the hotspot and i have to go to security then i'll put any password over here and after that click on start hotspot so before ending this video i would like to big thanks to all my channel members a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership your support truly means a lot so if you want to support the channel too then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always I will see you on the next one.